Good morning. Woke up at two in the morning today. Could not go to sleep afterwards. Let's talk about how you deal with other humans and how that changes when you do this work. That's today's topic. It's four o'clock right now. The better my meditations go, the less sleep I need. The more clearer and clearer my mind gets. The more energy I have. I've realized that when I speak, I have nothing in my mind. It just comes out. When I listen to people, I am so attentive. There's nothing in my mind going on other than to just listen to them. And what I should respond to them just flows right through me. It's as if I am just this tool and the higher self, which is smarter than me, <laughs> wiser than me, funnier than me, just begins to um, just talk right through me. Just answers what needs to be said. That's why sometimes when I'm talking to you guys, you ask me something, you're talking to me about something, and I respond to you in some way. And you guys, some of you, get very quiet or speechless, or it just takes you into a deep thought into, okay, well, what does that mean? And then we dig further into it. But when that happens, it is happening through me. It's not a planned thing that I say with you guys. Anyway, I've realized ever since this work that the kind of people you run into in the world, there's just two different kinds now. The more pure love you become because you're releasing stuck energies, you're becoming closer and closer to pure consciousness, pure love. And the more you do that, the more people that you will attract in life are closer to your level of pure love or are becoming better and better love. And your energies brings that part out from them so they feel better around you and you begin to feel better around them because now you guys are, the amplitude of your combined fields increases the energy for both of you. When two fields collide, it exponentially increases the energy that it both that, that it creates from the collision. That's why when you meditate around other people, you you can experience a deeper and deeper and more profound experiences during the meditation if you're around other people doing it. So the more pure love you become, that is the one half of the equation of what happens when you're experiencing other humans. And then there's the other part. And I'm, yes, I'm putting all of the other parts, other people in one bucket. And here's why. People that make you angry, frustrated, anything negative, anything low vibrational that you feel with those people. They are pointing out something inside of you that is yet to be released. They're showing you something in you. And that is something you, need, you must let go of. Judgments, rage, frustration, guilt, shame. Anything that brings you down. And the more you practice and get good at increasing your, your frequency, the more high vibrational you become, the more you are sensitive to low vibrational uh, feelings. And that's a good thing because you immediately, it brings you back to, uh, to the present moment with heavy levels of awareness of, whoa, that does not feel good at all. But if you're living in that low vibrational frequency, which most of the people are, when you're living in survival mode, when you're living in stress hormones or high all the time, a lot of people live that way. You know, the pessimists, the per, you know, perpetual pessimists that are just always looking for things to be upset about. 
Everybody's out to get me. Everybody's out there to rob me. All the abundant people are, 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 are thieves that are stealing from people that don't have money. All that, all that nonsense. All the victimhood. They don't feel those sudden shifts because they just stay there. But when you get to meditations and you begin to realize how beautiful it is up here, the moment something brings you down, it hits you in the guts pretty strongly. It'll make you cry. It'll just put you back into the seat and you're like, what, what just happened? And when that happens, you are no longer unconscious. You are, it wakes you up and you're like, I don't want this. I, I love you, but I got to go. I can't be around here right now. And then you go back. You can do another meditation. You can just sit with yourself and ask yourself, what was the lesson in there? What is in me that made me feel so sad and hurt? Because other people can't make you feel anything. You're making yourself feel something. Other people can only give you physical pain. But if they're not giving you physical pain, and you feel pain, and you're feeling sad and guilt and unworthy, that's your fault. They just spoke some words. Anything that you felt afterwards is your fault. You did that to yourself. And you have that in you. And the moment you release that, you will have people screaming at you. And you're going to be like, oh my goodness. I remember years ago when I was like that. It was so painful. And I remember that. When I was young, I would get angry a lot. And when I would get angry a lot, my throat would start hurting. My neck would get very stiff. That's what I remember vividly. There were other things that I would feel, physical response of my body to the anger. And I don't get angry. I don't remember last time I was upset. I mean, I get sad. I felt something last night. But I figured out exactly why. I was just talking to Lucy. Because she went through something. And she was feeling that. And we were trying to break it down. We were trying to analyze it, figure it out. And while doing that, not even talking about my situation from last night, and everything just made sense. It gave us so much clarity. Suddenly that something very slightly creeped up in me that pointed at something. It's like my soul is pointing at this one little thing that I must also release, right? And, and I just, and it, it didn't make sense to me last night, but it made sense to me this morning at four o'clock in the morning. So anytime you feel bad, anything negative, that is your divine, your soul, your higher self pointing at you, something in you that you must release. Sometimes it will come in a form of another person coming to hurt you. Not physically, yes, obviously that's not your fault if someone, someone else can give you pain physically, but not anything inside of you, that's all you. So, pay attention to what your higher self, the divine in you, the soul, is pointing at. And as you, it points at it, pay attention to it. And if you can feel it in certain energy centers and it's very obvious, then you can do, you, you don't have to, guys, when you do blessings of the energy center, the, the, the directions in there are guidelines. Those are not instructions. Those are guidelines. If you need to bless only one energy center the whole time, you can do that. If you don't know how to open your heart and you want to literally sit there for 90 minutes of just blessing your heart, you can do that. It's a game. Play with the energies. Do you know how much you will improve with your attention, with the focus? If you're able to put your attention and awareness 
And if it goes away somewhere, you bring it back. Your heart. I would, I would challenge you to have one of your intentions as a mystical experience, but have another intention of your mind-heart coherence. I've told you guys, when you begin to pay attention to your eyes closed, to the waves, energy, and frequency in the room, around your ears, around your head, around your shoulders, when you begin to do that, your awareness begins to expand so much, and when that happens, your brain begins to change. And it begins to change instantly. Different parts of your brain begins to talk at the same time. And then while you do that, you're going to start having these waves around your torso going up and down to your, to your head and from your head. Yeah, it's happening right now. See, it's, it gets easier and easier. And when you do that, it sends a very coherent signal to your heart. And it begins to help your heart become coherent. It begins to help your heart open up. And then the heart begins to send a new level of high frequency signals back to your, to your brain. So now what's happening is that there's a coherence occurring between brain and heart, brain and heart. And when that happens, everything becomes easier. Everything begins to change your field, your, your, uh, you become, to become a different person genetically, biologically, chemically, um, and, and electromagnetically. That begins to change your personality. It begins to liberate some of the stuck energies in you. And then the next time there's a less trigger and a less trigger and a less anger and a less guilt and less shame and less worthiness. And it begins to just, your energy begins to go high and all the low level energies begin to be. It's released and liberated. So why don't we do this? Sit with me, close your eyes, relax yourself. And feel the energy, the frequency around your head, on all sides, above the head, on both sides of your ears and shoulders. And see how far you can take that within the room. Feel all the floating frequencies and energies around you in the room. And just begin to pay attention to it. Doesn't matter if you feel it or not, just keep your awareness on the energy around you in the air that you can see. We are blind to 99% of existence, to our reality. And when we expand our awareness. We upgrade our senses. When we upgrade our senses, we begin to see the same things in life very differently. That's what Dr. Wayne Dyer meant when he said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. How do you change the way you look at things? You liberate low vibrational energy from yourself. You become a high vibrational match to different things in life. You begin to attract those. You upgrade your body genetically, chemically. Your senses begin to upgrade. Imagine being able to see 10% more, 20% more. Smell 20% more. Hear 20% more clearly. And imagine touching something and you're feeling 20% better, more accuracy in your touch senses. And you look at your loved ones. 
you will feel different. You will even look different. The judgment disappears. You begin to see the beauty beyond the simple, the simplicity of how people look. You will see beauty almost everywhere. That's why Miyamoto Masashi said, when you understand the way, you begin to understand everything. You begin to see the way in everything. Okay. You can open your eyes now. I want you guys expand your awareness randomly throughout the day. I want you to focus on your heart and try to open it throughout the day. That way, you are constantly practicing for your brain coherence and opening your heart. And when you do that, they begin to work together for you in the background. And that's when the mystical experiences spontaneously occur. Let's continue the work. Keep crossing the river with me. The only thing you're not allowed to do is give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on my mission. That is all I ask. I love you.